This is the Huanghu River in Shanghai. Lots of shipping happens on this river. Including pretty big ships like this one. Barges. This is very much going through the middle of Shanghai. Very central, kind of like the Thames going through London. How central is it? Well, look, that's Lu Jia's way. This wasn't always the center of Shanghai, and in some ways it still isn't. The government is still located on this side of the river, not that one. But the new growth is really over on that side, on what's called the Pudong side. See, this river actually is kind of the dividing line of Shanghai. Again, the river's name is Huangpu. If you take the Pu in Huangpu, you can make either Pu Xi or Pu Dong. Xi means west and Dong means east. So this one over here, Pu Dong, means east of the Huangpu River. And where I am right now, is Puxi west of the Huangpu. Lu Jiazui is just one part of Pudong, but it's one of the most famous parts. And often when people say Pudong, they may really be thinking of specifically of Lu Jiazui. Where I live out in Lingang is also part of Pudong, but it's very, very far away. It would take me an hour to get back to Lingang, whether by metro or by road. Let's watch those boats go by. For those of you familiar with Shanghai may be thinking, so are you at the Bund now? Why don't I see the uh, famous European buildings over there? I'm not really at the Bund just now. I'm kind of south of that area. The Bund is this area that was a European concession before. So it had, so there are a bunch of European style buildings there. It's a lot of fun to walk through, but I'm not there right now. This video is more focused on the river itself. I'm gonna walk along. a building over there for HNA that's the parent company of Hainan Airlines one of the larger airlines in China hello birdie birdie statue cute little burb these establishments here on the Pushi side of the river are as well hipster as they look. This seriously feels so much to me like something I'd see in Portland, Oregon. This is the Nanpu Bridge, one of the bigger bridges in Shanghai. A lot of other places you cross the Huangpu River in a tunnel, not a bridge. But here, you got a bridge, and it's pretty high to make sure that the ships can go under it.
to cross the bridge on the Pushi side, you have to go through this corkscrewing ramp to get up to it. Beautiful. On a bit of an elevated walkway now over the river. Back in the direction of Lu Jad's way, but we won't cross the river to get there. enjoyed this quick walk by the Huangpu River. Sometime soon I do really want to show you the Bund, which is just a bit north of here. That's the place I told you about with the European buildings. I also want to get over to Lu Jiazui and show you that central area of Shanghai. If you don't want to miss that, this would be a great time to subscribe to my channel. Feel free to like this video too. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!